Quick question, are you an Ableton Live user? If yes, this video is perfectly for you because if you own Ableton Live Suite, you probably also have Ableton's Wavetable Synth. In my opinion, great synth. I just discovered this thing now because I always felt it's a little bit complicated because of this matrix thing, you know, but it's actually pretty easy unless you know which dials to use to that make the difference so of course i will share what dials you need to turn which makes the difference in life's wavetable soon so that you can create your very own custom driving grooving bass lines hopefully you have some fun creating them like i had so yeah let's jump right in but before we do so i quickly want to mention my stuff but snappy Romanimal ableton live kick template um if you're lurking on my videos and haven't downloaded it and you are an ableton live user i highly recommend that you download it right now because um as i as i just said you can make uh, custom made bass lines with this little tool it's a max for live device uh preset kind of uh, thing for the um, DS kick from Ableton Live stock Max for Live plugin and uh, yeah you basically just need to download it and drag and drop it into your Ableton Live session and then you can experiment with kicks you know so yeah if you want that it's totally for free of course go and grab it under the link on this video or up here you know so yeah now let's jump over to this week's video hope you enjoy it hope you like it hopefully it's inspiring let's jump over all right so let's start drop in a blank wavetable synth and i also need something to trigger the sounds right i love mdd snake for that it's a free max for life device and yeah i always run with random and then i go from there honestly very simple Because honestly for me it's easier to already have something there that makes some kind of sound rather than starting from scratch you know so the random thing to me always works some kind of a, of a preset you know to start with By the way, I want to keep this video a little bit of a jam, hybrid session, teaching, maybe just pointing out some of the more important stuff and the rest just absorb while watching, hopefully get inspired, because I love to just watch people doing the work, you know? Anyway, here's an important thing to do, the wavetable you can pop up and then you get this big window right and another thing that I just did is rather than using the frequency a filter I would use the the slider where it actually um, flips through the wavetable you know here we have the matrix so whenever you click on something get the matrix right so we have oscillator position one it pops up in the matrix because I, I clicked on it right here's the attack of the LFO so we can smoothen it out if a little bit if you want to right This is very basic here we have different categories we have basic section right and inside each section we have a ton of wavetables now 
we can mix it together with oscillator 2 making it fat right again I use the slider and then it pops up in the matrix down there and then I can assign it to LFO1 or LFO2 LFO2, right? But I actually assigned it to the LFO1, so I'm I'm using the wrong LFO, as you can see. some important settings just listen the unison sections here I really love them you get different vibes out of it you can make shit really really wide as you can hear right with the voices we have noise So whenever you add more voices, shit can get really wide if you want that, right? Just want to experiment a little bit and show you what all those things are able to do. Let's make the bass mono with the utility. We can choose how far up we want it to be mono. I like to use it, I don't know, 150 maybe, making it mono so we have enough punch for the bass line. Let's just discover some different wavetables, jamming a little bit if you like, hopefully you like that. You can get lots of interesting stuff out of this wavetable, honestly. Some vintage categories, love that shit. And we haven't even turned on any frequency, you know, any filter. This is just the slider that we use. Some automation on the slider. And I also like the, the view, you know. Now let's add in the filter. Maybe assign it to to um, to an uh, envelope, maybe. Envelope two, right? So now we can use the envelope to determine how fast the filter reacts, right? How fast it opens and how fast it, it closes and whatnot, right? As you can see now. So once you understand that wavetable, that matrix, it's it's really easy. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want a more in-depth explanation video maybe of this uh, wavetable soon. Also, we have different settings for the filter.
I'm just experimenting with different wavetables and whatnot and try to mix them together. And one. It's very versatile, right? But again, one thing that I want to mention um, is the sub oscillator here. You can really th thicken. Th Thicken the thicken, thicken, thicken the the low end up a little bit, making the whole sound, the bottom end a little bit more, yeah, fat, you know. Let's listen with some reference stuff here. Without the sub, hope you were able to hear the difference a little bit. One section that I really like is the noise section, the categ category. Some vintage noise to mix in, to make it a little bit more analog sounding maybe, I don't know, a little bit warmer. Let's see. We have a different view, right? Without. sound with the noise right here we have some effect section some frequency modulation we have classic we have FM and I think we have another one, but I don't remember.
Yeah, with the voice setting, we can really make shit uh, shit wide if you want to, right? Sounds maybe interesting. Just want to show you how how versatile that that thing is, and how yeah, I think in my opinion you can get quite interesting sounds, nasty sounds out of it, complex sounds maybe even, right? By the way, I record the whole um, jamming here from the synth, so I get one long file and then um, after the jam session here we do some referencing um, to show you what this thing is capable of and I will, you know, um, use some reference loops. Lapexi from sample pack and then uh, to show you how we could possibly fit into into a track right This bass line reminds me a little bit of, of um, you know, Enzo Ziragusa maybe. Um, honestly, it was just by accident. I just, I just, <laughs> I came or stumbled up over it while I was editing this video. Honestly, while producing, I was, I didn't even care about what it sounded like, right? But now I have to say maybe it's some kind of Enzo Zirokusa inspired uh, stuff maybe. Even though it just came out randomly. I didn't want it to sound like that, you know. Here's another bass example. Exper experiment with different wavetables a little bit. Maybe we come out with something different. I don't know, man. So here, let's put it in perspective. Silapexi 
sample pack, you know. Yeah, and that was Exploring Wavetable, second video, hope you liked it. Um, to drive the point home here, I would really encourage you to use um, the Matrix, but I would recommend, um, yeah, try out the different Wavetables. Um, instead of using a filter, maybe start out by using scrolling through through the wavetable you know like i did and then assign it to an lfo maybe or um yeah there are tons of shit you can do you know as you just saw and then um, maybe adding effects making it wider by using the voice and also um adding different flavors if you want by using the unison um different settings you know the the noise and uh, the whatever was there you know shimmer is also f is also fun also the face setting is, is cool and then maybe i would um, add a, um, a utility from ableton to make the bass mono if it's really a bass but you can make a lot um, kind of groove elements mid bass lines i call them mid bass lines um, stuff that is not as deep as a kick you know below 100 hertz maybe it's it's more above it um i consider that as a mid bass line that adds groove and drive a little bit but yeah it's open for discovery hope you like this video let me know in the comment section if you want something else so thanks for watching thanks for your time hope to see you next week and yeah have fun experimenting with wavetable since ableton stock plugin have fun. Cheers. Bye-bye.